welcome to the True Talk series. As you know, this is a show where we talk about real issues with real women, and we give you real solutions to one of them. Today's topic is quite deep, I must say, because, I mean, one of the things we like about relationship is that when you fall in love, it gets into relationship, and then you tie the knot. I remember walking down the aisle. I remember it. But for some reason, a lot of women are going through infidelity in their marriages. And you can't seem to explain what is starting to why it's leading there. Is it the women that are causing this? Or the men are just selfish looking for adventure? Well, today, we'll break it all down. Find out the why, the what, and how exactly do you remain at peace, remain sane, and keep your relationship. Ladies, please. <laughs> This, this issue of infidelity, it's like it's, it, it's become a ringtone and everybody's constantly talking about it. But first, what exactly do you ladies consider as infidelity? Because for me, my list is long, long very long. <laughs> this topic is like a, it's like a table-shattering topic. Oh, honestly, it is. There's so, so, there so many things that I would consider as infidelity. For mm. some people... It is when the man is caught physically with the woman. For me, just a text on your phone. That's called sex. Sexting. You, sexting. sexting. You're cheating yeah. already. And then when I see that, you giggle at the lady when she yeah. says hi. You say, hello, how are you? you are <laughs> where, do you draw, where do you draw this line? Where do yeah. you draw this line? Because, you know, it's, it's actually a good thing that we're actually starting from, you know, the root cause. Because if we don't define what infidelity, infidelity is, some woman is different. Yeah. Infidelity to another woman. Mm -hmm. Just by sending a text, someone will tell you, she just sent a text to him, it doesn't really matter. He you has know? not brought her and home. Then to somebody else, it's like, oh, you have to catch him red handed, you know, red -handed before you can say it's actually infidelity. But like you said, whenever you joke with a woman's emotion by dealing with the opposite sex, and you like lead her on. Woman, mm. Or even um, making, going into the actual act and making the woman, you know, go bonkers. I mean, are you going to say, I mean, to what extent, for you, would you say that is in Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, every woman is different, and we have different ways of reacting to things. So, if I catch, when you, when you say, I, I catch my man cheating, whether text or is looking some, at someone in a very, you know, funny way, I can do something entirely terrible. You know, and somebody else might not, it might not even move someone else. Mm -hmm. So we need to first understand our emotional level when it comes to this is how to handle, this is what I need to do, this is how to handle in, in terms of infidelity and all that. So um, emotions play a very, very big part right. in terms of, you know, the way you consider as, what you consider as infidelity. I'm curious what infidelity means to your company. <laughs> no, but I was going to go back, take this question back to you mm. when you're talking about texting and all that. And you know, um, how much can you control the messages that you receive? you receive? For example, you know how the WhatsApp is, you know. I remember when um, when the WhatsApp thing started, um, someone, a carpenter, you know, I just put my profile picture, okay. and he just sent a message, oh my, you look sweet. Ha. Huh. Ah, it was a problem. <laughs> I don't even know you how know, to respond so, to sometimes, that. Sometimes, how can you, like, somebody, somebody was talking about how mm -hmm. do you actually define if it's... Um, it goes as bad to be called exactly. here and then you see or not. Sometimes you can't really control um, what the kind of messages and all that, that, comes, that, that in. comes in. So I think it boils down to trust. Like mm. um, someone was telling me that um, they sent a friend of his, a girl that was trying to get his attention, a married man. She sent him um, naked pictures mm. and all that. Do you understand? And there's actually nothing between this guy and the girl. But you know, the girl, you know, sometimes, uh, like my pastor always says, that when a girl wants to get you, mm. she knows what to do. That she can do almost uh, as in, except yeah. that 90% of them will get you. you know? But, but what, what now, so, what's the cause of infidelity in, in relationships and marriages? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what's that thing? I mean, every woman goes into marriage yeah. preparing to give her all, yeah. to satisfy her man, to be submissive, to get all crazy in bed but for one reason there are certain men that don't they don't just get satisfied what's that thing that causes infidelity is it the fact that men just want adventure you know, or some, women are not doing enough some men actually it's, it, for some men it's just actually out of boredom you know when you're actually not 
satisfied with the same thing, getting the same thing. You know, for some men, they tell you it's boredom. For some men, they want to explore. They're rediscovering themselves. They, they want to, they call it like an adventure, yeah. try something else. And for some, they will tell you it's the woman that caused it. She's not still looking all sad. Is that enough reason for him so to cheat? Yeah, exactly. the excuses. Is it valid? Can we say this is enough? Okay, let's, let's play it from the woman's part. Before we start to hold the man accountable for cheating, let's bring him back home. As yeah. women, what are we doing wrong that makes men, mm -hmm. our men, want to cheat or want to go out? So there's a story I heard of um, a man, it was even the guy that was, um, he wasn't really happy. He said um, his wife has not allowed him sex for three years. Any reason for that? Yeah. I think the lady was just not in love with him. She married hmm. him for, you know... Wrong for reasons. The, yeah, for, hmm. for, 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 for what she wanted to get out of that marriage. Hmm. And, you know, he, 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 the guy said that um, he, she, this has pushed him to do what he never, ever thought he could do, you know, in his life. In his marriage, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, so that's it's just quite painful. Sometimes mm -hmm. you, um, these things push people. Yeah. To do what they do. So I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, she's talked about the fact that the, the the lady wasn't giving him sex, and obviously the, he wanted it and all that. So what are the other causes? So obviously, sex is one of them. Mm -hmm. yes. It has to be both ways. Both have to mm -hmm. both enjoy it. What other causes is the fact that some women also just let go. Mm. You know, they let go whether you're because you're married, you feel oh everything is fine yes. and, and all that. Do, some are not even bold enough to talk. Some women like to be touched in particular places because you know how our makeup as women is different from men. Men will just want to, you know, go get, get in, get out. done. Mm. And you know, but for women, we're a bit more delicate. More emotional. In and emotional mm -hmm. and you know, delicate in the way we uh, get sensual yeah. for the actual act. Yeah. So, because of the upbringing that we have, or some of us have, you know, uh, don't talk about these things. Don't talk about sex in this way. So, even <laughs> if you actually, you want the guy to feel you in a particular mm. way, you are not able to say it in marriage. Yeah, so, so mm. the communication is also a problem. Mm. Mm. Poor communication also is actually, problem. yeah. So, because, you know, you have to do with the love language. So, what are you saying? Do you know the areas that I want to be touched, for instance? Mm -hmm. Are you touching me in that area? If you're not satisfying me sexually, some people would actually I deviate. think some women are just naturally shy. They can't just express themselves. Mm. Mm. The and apart, apart from that, a lot of women have failed to realize that what catches a man's attention is what he sees. And if you don't package yourself well, if you don't yeah. look sexy if you don't keep yourself yeah. what do you expect him to do mm. now having talked about the, the, the from the woman's point of view let's look at the man it's one thing for us to blame the women for letting men go and you know cheat mm. but what about the men men sometimes get over adventurous there's also the high libido where they feel that my wife isn't giving me to that level yeah. where I want. I need to seek someone who is younger, who has that strength and all of that. But at this point, women are suffering. Yeah. How can women who are going through this situation, who, whose partners are cheating on them, not even just cheating on them, some even bring the girls to their faces. How can they deal with this situation? Women to speak up. Women need to start speaking up for themselves. You know, there's one the thing... Or outside, outside. Of the because yeah. it's your it's your marriage it's your man so you need to understand what the root cause is is it me if it is yeah. me then you hear from you fix so me you know it's actually a thing of adventure that he just wants to go on a row by himself mm. but if it's actually me then okay you'll be able to Work understand that's where i have the weakness mm. but Absolutely. you're trying your best to be able to give you know your best in bed you're communicating the areas where you want to be touched and all of that but the man's are like you know someone said that some men are not just insatiable in sex. Mm. They're also insatiable in everything. In life in Yoruba general. Call it <laughs> Do you understand? Like Nothing is good enough. Sex, everything about the woman is not good enough. Mm. You always look out. Mm. Maybe she, the cooking, uh, the cooking is not good. The way she dresses is not good. The way she takes care of the children is not, everything. Else. So they will find that excuse to still go outside. What should such a woman do? I mean, if you're doing everything, yeah. you are slain in your outfit, you're still slain on the bed, you're slain with your clothes, but the man still seeks adventure. Yeah. What could such a woman do? I was, I was going to mention that it's sometimes, even before you get married, you would have seen some signals. Ah. And people don't pay attention to that. Mm. So you, when you now enter into that relationship and you see 
start seeing these signs you probably will be okay i've seen this now there's nothing i can do so what do you do so in that case you need to first put yourself first what is most important to you your happiness is what is what that, 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 that that's the first Absolutely. thing so you have to be able to decide mm -hmm. whether you want to try you want to continue trying mm -hmm. or you want to you know set yourself step aside and continue with your life so mm. what do you think jokes i mean what I more can just, women do i just want to add to what falake said um most young ladies because maybe they just want that emirates um title uh, title mm. you know they they see these things and they ignore mm. or they they say they can change him they will mm. change him and That's all a that huge issue and the truth is that no <laughs> man mm -hmm. can change any absolutely man. it is only mm. god that can change a man stay That's on that truth. one stay on and that one when mm -hmm. you get into that mm -hmm. relationship you know and the thing about it is that before you get married you know the level of love Kind of, on a very high level. level. Once you get married, the kinds of, and that's why my mom once she, she said something to me. Said, you know what, girls, because we're four girls. Before you get married, make sure that the guy loves you way more mm -hmm. than you love him. Mm -hmm. Because when you get into marriage, the sea finished thing enters, the children, responsibility, and everything. It kind of drops. That's so even when it drops, it doesn't drop below yours. Mm. You know, you you don't feel abandoned and all that. So it's, it's very very key for. Women. I would I would I would like to say for, for women, yeah. whether you are a young lady about to get married or you're married, yeah. it's important that you find self love and self worth mm. yeah. because. The tendency for that experience, the infidelity to drive you insane is very high. Mm. But when you focus on, okay, I have done everything I can to yeah. work, to fix this marriage and it's not working. You now ask yourself, do I want to remain in it and just be quiet? But take care of yourself. Some women yeah. will say, as long as he's not bringing them into the home, I'm mm. okay. But you need to be mentally stable. stable. Mentally I stable. I was driving. I was going to mention mm -hmm. this issue that has been on the internet for a while now mm -hmm. about special package mm. oh so, <laughs> you will see issues with a lot of couples who probably the special package thing has affected maybe the oh, man, man or the woman mm -hmm. so sometimes even the men is not as if they want to do it mm -hmm. They've they been have jazzed. been hypnotized. hypnotized. Yeah, so where, what do you do in a case like that? That, 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 is, that is where the place of prayer has come. You need a fast time prayer. I was going to mention that, that, that as mm -hmm. one of the one of the um, ways solutions because and it's very important for religious um, organizations, churches, and pastors to begin to talk about these things. Many organizations don't talk about it. They they kind of shelve it off. And people, they are married people in the congregation going through issues. Oh, yeah. So it's very important that they talk about sex, they talk about wives and husbands satisfying each other. You know, you go into it, delve into it, and talk this thing. Mm -hmm. Let us know. I you agree know, with let's you. share this thing mm -hmm. and all that. And you know, the truth is, I tell you, except, yeah, there are some that you know they are really bad. But you know that if a man, like you are, you are giving food to eat and you are filled up, and then somebody now brings food Extra. again, yeah. you will be, you, you know, you won't be so attracted if your wife is actually really satisfying you, or your husband is satis satisfying. satisfying you. It will be a bit difficult for you to. But on this special part, all about contentment. Some ladies will tell you that mm. what you don't believe in will, work. Will, not, will not work for you. You know, what you don't believe in will not work. So if you don't believe that special package, package. works, it cannot affect your man. I've seen, I mean, it's still coming from a place of faith and spirituality mm -hmm. like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yet it's good to fast and pray about it. But also develop your mindset to that point of view. Like Simon said, I'm a woman of worth. Before you can take my man, mm -hmm. Or before you come, yeah. you know, from a spiritual point yeah. of view, I will do my best. Yeah. From a physical Sixth point, point of view, I do my best. I emotionally, it's, I will hold my own. It's all round. Even your man knows you are emotionally thing, yeah. stable Simple, as a yeah. woman. Even though he tries. Because in, in, in the lifetime of mm. of most men, I don't want to say all men. In the lifetime of most, most men, especially in this uh, culture, <laughs> Niger, I don't know, this <laughs> our African, you know, the monogamy thing is, you know, like they say, yeah. we are rich. But mm. in the lifetime of most men, a lot of women, modern women may experience this thing. But when you start from the place of self-care, yeah. make sure that because it will come, the wind will blow yeah. there. But when it comes, make sure that emotionally you have grinded yourself yeah. to a point that mm. when the storm comes, mm. both spiritually, emotionally, yeah. by the grace of yeah. God, you have your yeah. own power. Also, what I want to add to yeah. that is that a lot of women should not feel that um, they have to stay in a marriage and die there. Mm -hmm. 
I know it's difficult for you to tell someone walk out of a marriage that's not working. But remember that for you to be happy in a marriage, you must be sane, you must be fulfilled. It's it's scary sometimes when we see women who are dying in silence, yeah. who are being abused mentally, emotionally, physically. But they tell themselves, I'd rather die here than to become a divorcee or a separated mm -hmm. or a single mother. Mm -hmm. What message are you sending to your children? You're telling them that it's okay to stay in an abusive relationship. The moment you choose to stay there, then that's the message and that's the legacy you're passing across mm. to your children. But trust me, there's a whole lot to talk about when it comes to infidelity. We cannot say it all on this episode, but there will be a lot more to talk about. But before we go, I want to quickly say that we have amazing giveaways on this episode. One of the super exciting things for me is that after these every episode, we seem to have a way to help you, our viewers, get through from where you are to where you want to be. So this is an amazing giveaway from, mm, let me see, let me see. It's a free intimacy um, therapy okay. session, and it's from Dr. Peace. Did I get that right, Flaky? Uh, Peace Egbede. Peace Egbede. Now, for Egbede. any woman out there who is going through one challenge emotionally or in your marriage or your relationship, you just need someone to talk to. We have free giveaway for you to help you cl clear your mind, elevate your strength, and then you can find ways to build your relationship all over again. Thank you, ladies, for making today so smooth, so easy, and so informative. I know a lot of women out there will be saying, now I have a way to get through this situation without losing my sanity. Mm. We'll do this again in our next video. Remember to subscribe, like our Instagram page, and drop a comment. Those are one of the few and pretty much simple things you have to do to get part of this freebie. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye.